Hey there. This is Frank hey. Lesitz, the... <laughs> What's oh, up, you weren't talking to me. <laughs> no, we're good. My name is Frank Lesitz. I'm the CEO of Viral Marketing. You're going to meet Aaron here in a second, who's a great client of our firm. And um, he's been uh, generating lots of business from his database. Um, has about maybe 3,000 people on his list. That's not like Mets of real relationships. That's just all the emails we have. Mm-hmm. And uh, is getting a consider- considerable amount of business of people calling him and referrals and just an easy way of doing business where you're not necessarily chasing, you know, lots of leads that are being sold to five other agents or mm-hmm. spending a fortune, taking a lot of risk to secure a listing from like cold lead generation. Um, Aaron has a good strategy, a strategy that really aligns with uh, what viral marketing is all about from a value standpoint. And I'm going to interview him. I'm going to get deep to how he's getting his business, how he's building his database, and just overall how he's making money in a way that uh, brings him joy, which I think is, uh, which I think is very true. Am I, am I right, Aaron? Yeah, absolutely. It's my favorite thing. My favorite way of getting business is having someone call me and say, you know, I've been watching your videos. I'd like you to come over and price my house. That's, Isn't that nice? That's the best. <laughs> it is the best. the best. And that's, uh, we're going to talk about how you can manufacture that and how you can start that just like Aaron has. So a little bit about Aaron. You know, you sold about a hundred homes I see mm-hmm. in your lifetime and your career. And uh, 2017, it looks like you're relatively newer in the business. Is that right? I mean, how long have you been in the business? It's my uh, sixth year, fifth year. Okay. Five, 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 six years? I don't know. Fifth year. But 2017, you sold about 27 homes and the price point where you're at. What's the market you're in in Northwest? Seattle. So we're median. Uh, my, yeah, 600,000 is that my average price. Yeah, $600,000 homes in Seattle. Mm-hmm. And um, 2018 so far, you sold 13. But uh, uh, your business is, well, as of this writing. But yeah. More now. It's basically based off referrals. 60, 80% come from your sphere, from your database. Yep. And um, you really enjoy speaking. You have a long-term vision to write a book. You love educating consumers. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you just really enjoy helping people, Aaron, and yeah. you're, you're a great agent. So, all right, man. So let's step back. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you do before real estate? I'm just curious. Well, I did a bunch of things. <clears throat> so uh, I went to art school. Uh, so I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, which made me eligible to work in food service anywhere in the country. So I, uh, after art school, I went to New Mexico to live with my girlfriend, and I was waiting tables because I'm an artist. And um, the baker yeah, quit. That's funny. And, right? Yeah. <laughs> baker quit in the restaurant, and I know how to bake because I'm an artist, and baker, artists know how to bake. And I started baking in that restaurant, and then I raised money, and I started my own bakery. And um, so I did that for about nine years, had a bakery, and then I sold the business, and I went to work for a company called Landmark, Landmark Worldwide. Uh, oh, Landmark, education. Uh-huh, Landmark Education oh, great. at the time. Yep, I worked for them for about 11 years. Wow. And got transferred to Seattle, and then um, uh, had a, several different jobs, sales positions, things like that for about two or three years, and then I got into um, credit repair, uh, selling credit repair services, and I was calling realtors that I knew to see if I could help their clients because I thought that'd be a good source of business. And I'm doing about a hundred dials a day manually, you know, on to sell credit repair services, cold calls people. And every realtor I talked to, they said, dude, if you're dialing a hundred numbers a day, yeah, what are you doing? I mean, go sell you real should estate. be selling real estate. You should do it with your skill set and who you are. You should sell real estate. And, um, and I finally took their advice and I, I literally have never found a job I like as much as this. It's this the best job ever, ever. That's great. A little bit. And I, I, I think what's so important here with this interview is you're doing business in a way that you like. Mm-hmm. And you yeah, like totally. the way you look forward to the lead generation and the marketing and you're doing business in a way that you really enjoy where it's not outside your behavioral or comfort zone, which is what a viral yeah. is such a good fit. Well, I do a lot of cold calling too. So just, just to be clear, I do, mm-hmm. I, I find, you know, I was doing. Um, well, that's know, what that, I mean by you're making a hundred calls. Yeah. You're talking to people. Yeah. I'm talking you're to people. bringing I, them into your database. You're sending right. the videos. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about, you know, so I, I have to make myself, you say I get up in the morning. I like, I got to force myself to get on the phone, even to my friends, even to the sphere, even like the follow up that I get back from the, um, you know, the emails, the viral emails when mm-hmm. I get the, I get the open list. I got to force myself to do that. So it's not, you know, I mean, what I really like, it's not like watching ESPN. It's work, you know, <laughs> sure. it, it takes something, but I do enjoy um, that the making the videos. I do the, enjoy the content creation and I really love 
the opportunity to deliver value to people and have intelligent, meaningful conversations about something that's so important. Yeah. That part is dynamite. It's really well, cool. the key takeaway. Yeah. The key fit is that you're comfortable reaching out and talking to us. It's work. Yeah. But you yeah. have experience doing it. You don't avoid it like the plague. No. <laughs> okay. No. And you don't and get to, yeah, you, that's, you and that's blended the job, that with your right. artistness, the artist in you and the content creator have come together. Yeah. And it's perfect. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, Great. I like it. All right. So at some point you decided, you know, I got to do a better job of staying in touch with my database. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this journey of like, man, I really got to get a touch program. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you can, what did you look at? Yeah. Why, why did you decide to do it? Tell me your process at that point of your business career. Yeah, uh, let's see. I was probably about a year in, you know, in the first six, eight months. Well, really, honestly, the first six months, I did nothing. And then uh, finally got onto a, a team with a great another agent, and we started a team together. And, um, you know, I did bold. I'm a Keller Williams agent, so I did bold, and I started doing contacts and started meeting people. And I have a big sphere of influence in Seattle. So, just didn't. And again, I, for me, it's super important that I'm delivering value. I mean, it's the most important thing for me is that I know that when someone's done talking to me, they, they're more educated. You know, I, I've sort of created four values, uh, core values for myself to educate, advocate and negotiate on behalf of my clients. And that's a really big thing for me is to be able to educate people. And um, one of the things I did in terms of getting myself educated myself was I listened to podcasts, tons of podcasts, just day to day, you know, learn, 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 learn. And one of the podcasts that I came across was Real Estate Uncensored with um, Matt Greg McDaniel, Matt, Matt and Greg's Greg a client and Matt worked right here in my office. Right. With me. And they just, you know, they were just chatting you up. They were just talking about it. So this is probably four years ago. And um, so I got online and I looked you guys up and I was like, oh. This makes sense because I'm a KW agent and I know 36 touch. I got to be in touch. I got to, I got to send them something, right? I, I got to send them something. And clearly video is uh, the way there's nothing, you know, better than video is, and it's just getting more and more and more and more important. And um, you know, when I did the dollars and cents of what it would cost to set for, have you guys manage the video production versus what I could, what I would have to do to do it myself. It was really like, it's really a no brainer. It's, it was like, all right, this is stupid cheap. And uh, so I just, I, I jumped in. It's funny too, because my team, uh, you know, my, my partner said, look, as part of the team, part of my split with the team was like, look, if you find something that works, I'll pay for it. Right. Yes. Um, but I had to demonstrate that it works. So I paid for it for the first year because I was really committed to it. I was really like, this is, it just made so much sense to me that there'd be a, a wealth of, um, you know, library of videos online that I had created that I, people would see my face twice a month. I could put that on social media and I'm, I'm really active on Facebook um, and LinkedIn. Those are two platforms I'm really active on. So, to be able to post stuff there that's valuable and it puts my face, everything about it just worked out. And for 500 bucks a month, it was like, what, how, how do I justify not doing this? You know, all I have to do is just shoot the damn video and you guys are going to handle every single other thing for me. It was, it was, it was, and remains to this day, a no brainer for me. Oh, that's my headline on the website to shoot the damn video. It's all yeah. done. No brainer. <laughs> It's a no-brainer. It's just so stupid, you know? And then I remember getting involved. And I, and I was actually at this point, Courtney, my, uh, my, my uh, rep, uh, had, does have to chase me a little bit. Um, but in the beginning, I mean, I was giving her three, four, five videos a month to, to handle, right? Just like I would just knock them out. And, um, uh, but I couldn't believe that there were people that like, you know, won't shoot the videos. I'm like, really? How, you know, come on, <laughs> shoot the damn video. So and I just sent her my next one today. So, but yeah, it, it does take a little bit to, to shoot the video, but so, other than that. So you, you, you probably looked at other touch programs. I mean, I think you kind of answered the question, what makes this one different, but why, yeah. why this touch program versus all the other options available to you? Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, I guess Happy Grasshoppers a touch program. I don't know. I don't know that there are other. I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, there are. I mean, you know, we have drip campaigns in sync that we use. Mm -hmm. um, but just the all encompassing nature. I mean, really, Frank, the, uh, honestly, and I said this to you earlier, I, you guys are my marketing team. I don't, I don't, I've completely outsourced that. There's, you know, there's not a project I take to Courtney that she goes, no, we don't do that. I, I, I've yet in the three or four years that I've been using you guys have come across something where it's a marketing idea that I have that has to do with video where, you guys say no. I mean, you talked about how I wanted to write a book. I wrote a book and how I wrote the book was I shot 10 videos of 10 steps on the path to home ownership, which I wanted to get out to people. And then you guys turned that into a drip campaign and uploaded it into sync for me. So now anyone who comes in as a buyer gets a 10 drip video series. And I didn't do anything but shoot the video. And then I did the same thing for sellers. A, like a seven or eight video series on selling your home. Those are now both online and they're drip campaigns that you guys put into sync for me. And I took them, I had them uh, transcribed online and I turned the damn thing into a book. Great. So, you know, and it was 500 bucks a month and I have to, I have to spend that. I don't have to spend that money, but I have to touch those people anyway. Right. And, Again, I, I don't know where the math doesn't work out. I don't know what the, I don't know what other touch programs are. So I don't know that I have a lot to say about other touch. <laughs> Fine, that's great. <laughs> All right, so let me ask you this: how how does this make you money? Like, yeah, you make, you make these videos and you just send them out to people. How does that put commissions in the bank? You know, it's interesting because I uh, so I'm not as good with the um, follow up as I should be in terms of the, uh, the calling the opens. And so I don't get a lot of direct response ROI kind of tracking from the videos. And, um, you know, I, I do send out the quarterly um, text mm -hmm. video, text email just that you write. Yep. And those do get clicks. Um, but I don't get a lot of, uh, I, I don't, I can't track it particularly, but I can tell you a couple of things. Um, so it's on one hand, it's branding you know, which you don't, you can't, it's important, but you can't measure it that way. Um, but I, you'd have to look up, Frank, how long I've been with you guys, but it's gotta be three wow. years. Yeah. It's gotta be two or three years. Um, and I think the day after I booked this with you, uh, this interview, so it's last month, uh, I got an email or a phone call from someone who said, I was searching for, oh, I was Googling, um, I Googled Airbnb uh, rentals or so. I, I, you know, he was looking to invest in Airbnbs and he came across my video and then he re watched my other videos and then he called me and now I'm shopping for a $800,000 condo for him to buy as an Airbnb. Uh, nice. Okay. I, I didn't do that. I shot that Airbnb video, which I think I probably stole from one of the other realtors in your yeah, email right. that I get every month, yeah. like popular. So I watched his thing and then I just regurgitated it out to my database. And, um, and now it lives somewhere on the interweb and some guy found it and called me and now I'm shopping for him. Now that's one guy in three years that I can point to. I just, I get emails at this point now, once a month, maybe I get an email or a call from someone who says, I've been watching your stuff. I've seen your stuff online. I get your stuff. I love your stuff. Some version of that when I'm ready, you are the only person I'm calling or I'm calling you because I've seen your stuff. Some version of that, maybe every six weeks now, something like that. I get a call like that. Yeah. Um, so I don't know that it's, a, I can't recommend it like this is quick money, but it's a drip. It's, Grand Canyon was built a drip at a time. This is the kind of thing where three years, four years, five years, two videos a month, 25 videos a year minimum, start showing up online, start getting out there. And, you know, it's going to be one of those things where it's like, you know, bamboo spends five years growing its roots and then all of a sudden starts doubling its height. Mm -hmm. It's, there's no doubt that this is what that is. I, I can see it. I mean, that guy called me out of the blue from my perspective, but 
it wasn't really out of the blue because I really did make that video and I really did put it online. I put it on LinkedIn and I put it on, actually I did it. You put it on LinkedIn. You put it on Facebook. I'm, you emailed it to my sphere and it lives in, in the ether and it's there and someone's going to find it. And the more stuff I do like that, the more stuff people are going to find. And I, I, so that's how I make money out of it. So you, what are you doing to build your database? So one of the things, you know, I want to have a good, solid, healthy list of relationships I can send these videos to to stay in touch. Yeah. What are you doing to, you know, replace the attrition in your list and to grow it? Talk to us uh, about that. Yeah, I call, um, I mojo dial. I do the speed dial of um, either circle prospecting around my listings or I do FISBOs and expireds. Um, we do pay for leads through Commission Zinc. And every lead that comes into Commission Zinc, every, and we probably get 300 a month, um, gets automatically downloaded by Courtney, down, goes into my sync, goes into our sync, downloads our database every other week, sends, adds all the new addresses and sends them. So now every one of them gets a touch from us twice a month, um, which is particularly useful because it's not from the sync email address. It's from a different email address. So uh, if so, they opt out, they're still getting the property. If, if they opt out, they're still getting these, these emails. And, uh, and sometimes the sync emails don't go through. But, you know, I'm sure sometimes your emails don't go through too. But in the meantime, it's just another touch from another source, and they all get it automatically. And then um, we just started with Rockstar Connect. Good, and, uh, networking events. Yeah, networking events. So everyone, every card we get going right into the database – they'll start getting these drips and the drips are great because they're just value. There's not even an ask in them. There's no, we're not selling anything. I'm just, Hey man, here's what's happening. I just did a King County market update today. And um, who doesn't want to get a King County market update? And if you don't want it, I, you know, fine, no problem. I don't, I don't, I don't need to send it to you, you know, but it's great. Never get a complaint about them. That's great, man. Good. Talk about the process of making your videos. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's my camera. It's very high tech right there. I, I used the camera you sent me for a while, but this is actually just as good. Yeah, and, better, um, a little better. Yeah. We, and, we can't interview you live, but you've gotten so good where you could probably record it without like someone actually interviewing you, right? Like, yeah, I just do. Yeah, I just I, – I bought a little uh, – you know, I, I have a couple of different tripod type attachments – that I use. Um, uh, and then, um, you know, and I'll try and black out some time and I'll either do it like while I'm at an open house and I'm waiting for someone to come or, uh, you know, if I, if the mood strikes me, I'll just whip out the camera and do a video. Uh, sometimes I do it on my commute. Uh, today I did, um, I started doing this because bomb bomb, which I also use, uh, has a, uh, screen capture aspect now. Mm -hmm. And it, it puts you in, in a little bubble in the corner yeah. so they can see me and what's on my screen. Well, that's yeah. how I did my King County market update today. I do my Vashon Island market updates. I do all, and I do it like that because first of all, it's a showstopper when someone sees it online because it looks super professional. Um, and uh, although you can tell I'm in my studio today, right? <laughs> um, I'm sitting on my porch. Uh, and um you know, so I do it any way I can do it. You know, I don't, I don't do it quote unquote professionally. Although I did start doing some stuff with a green screen and, yeah. um, you know, I shoot it on a green screen and you guys magic it, right? I mean, you guys do all the background stuff for we it. Do our so. best as long as your lighting is good. Yeah, it's great. It's so far so good. No problems. But again, for me, that's part of what I'm already paying for. I don't have mm -hmm. to pay any extra to get that done. I don't do anything with it. I, I'm actually now in the process of um, reading or go, recreating on one hand, every chapter of the book I wrote. So there's now going to be a video series about the book that I can market and use to generate interest for everything that I do. And that's all, you know, just being generated by Courtney and the team back there. So cool, man. I want to show the audience something really quick, what you shared. So uh, for the video editing, uh, we're using movie studio software, Adobe Premiere. So we're literally editing in, you know, full-blown professional stuff. We have about eight or ten editors at Viral 
And yeah, all we do I, is fit inside the stuff and edit your stuff really well, which is pretty. Yeah, and I'm never going to do that. No. I mean, you know, I'm just never going to get around to doing that. And yeah. So. And let me share, uh, I'm a wonderful company, um, but there's some other options for you if you're looking for like some good video email software. Mm -hmm. uh, Loom uh, integrates with your Gmail and you can record a video uh, mm -hmm. and your screen share. It's completely free. Mm -hmm. So it scales to your whole sales team if you want to include videos in your email. And uh, Wistia came out with a competitor. It's free too. Uh, video emails. It's a Chrome extension and allows you to really record really nice uh, video screen demos uh, to send an email to prospects. If you want to get involved with video to send one-to-one -one communication, uh, mm -hmm. I want to recommend to our clients, check out this soapbox from Wistia and Loom are some really good uh, options for you. Uh, if you don't need the broadcast options, uh, especially if you have lots of people in your office, you want them all using it. It's a free license mm -hmm. for everyone. Cool. All right, good. So that, would you, but do I have to type it in Gmail? I have to use Gmail as the... I don't know. They, I don't, I'm not sure what it integrates I'll with. I'll, yeah, I'll, it's, I'll it's, figure it's, it out. Loom, good, I'll check it out. Loom and then Wistia Soapbox are really cool uh, services for that. Great. Because I know BombBomb now integrates right with Gmail yeah, too. So. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, awesome, man. So, you know, how you build your database, you're talking to lots of people. You're asking permission to stay in touch. You bring them into your list. You're publishing your two videos a month and we get them out. People see it. And then, you know, hopefully people call you, but it's more about maybe positioning people watching your stuff and people reach mm -hmm. out to you and that's all good benefit. But we also give you what's called an open and click report of mm -hmm. all of the people that took time out of the day to actually open your email and not skip over you. Mm -hmm. But even better, who, who read it, who actually clicked through in the links to mm -hmm. uh, engage with you. Uh, do you use that report at all? Is there any feedback you can give for the audience on, on that or how it works? Yeah, I do use it. Um, I, I definitely open it every, every you know, time I get it every other week when I get it and look to see who's in there. Um, it, I do get a lot of the same people clicking, you know, and either friends of mine or people in my sphere or people, you know, um, you know, I just talked to two weeks ago or a month ago and I know they're not looking, but they're clicking through. So I don't have a great way to manage that. That's not, it's not that I don't have systematized. I, I've done some stuff with Mojo where I can call them all, but um, I'm not, as solid uh, in terms of a structure to follow those up the way I could. Um, and I'm sure I'm leaving some degree of money on the table because I'm not, I haven't managed that as with as much integrity as I could have. Um, but I do open it and I do make sure that, you know, if there's well, anyone there new in there, what yeah, we can totally system to call on your behalf where Aaron asked me to reach out. Oh yeah. Name. Yeah, I just, I'm afraid that I'm going to wind up with uh, people called that don't need to be called because I really have to edit it because there are people on there that I know um, really just are, you know, like yeah, people friends. I met, they're not really in the real, they're not really shopping right now. Um, but I do call the ones, you know, if I, I do get in there and if there's someone from Commissions Inc. or someone new or someone that I don't know personally or someone I don't know their story, I always call those people. Got it. Right. So those people are, I handle. So I, I, I got a, a handle on it. I, I just think I could upgrade there. Sure. All right. So one of the things that were, uh, that I really wanted to include in part of the program is, you know, you're running this blog, this magazine, this newsletter, if you will, that's publishing. Mm -hmm. And the way people make money in the publishing business is through advertisers. Mm -hmm. have, have, you, have you discussed with our team at all about maybe uh, bringing on a contractor, bringing on a mortgage person, bringing on a, a home remodeling person, a home builder, to see if they would be included in some of your videos and you include them in your market and help offset a little bit of your viral fee? Yeah, you know, I have. I've talked to John about it a little bit. I, I mean, for me, the $500 a month is just so not worth the hassle. <laughs> a hassle or even sharing screen time with someone. You know, I, I don't. I, I just don't need, you know, it's not like it's a $3,000 a month offset. It's a $500 a month offset. And I, to share screen time with someone or and they have to deal with the RESPA laws with a mortgage broker or a title company, I'm not going to get into it. And, you know, when I really do look at it, there is not a contractor in Seattle that is looking for business. I literally do not have one contractor in Seattle that has anything but fully booked they laugh at me when they talk about co-branding with me. They're like, I, I can't even get them to come look at my house. So I, I, it just looks like an, it looks like more time than it's worth, especially Fair enough. the expenses. But I, want, 
I want whoever's watching us to know that it is possible to zero cost this. I'm sure it is. By including sure some people in the, in, if, it, if it's worth it to you. Okay, great. Totally. I love it. And, and in other markets, I'm sure there really are contractors and vendors that are not up to here with business that are looking to expand. Yeah. I, it's a great idea. And I have looked into it. It's just not anything that I'm, I, it's worth my time. Sure. Now, something else I'll be announcing, well, not announcing, we'll be kind of testing it out, is the reach you get when you go live on Facebook, mm -hmm. as opposed to just recording and posting a video is like way much more. Right. So viral is so perfectly positioned given that you have a webcam and we have a webcam and you have a schedule time. Um, we're taking clients on Facebook now to go live with their videos. And then we just download the video and put it through the whole process. Would you have any interest of going live with Courtney? Totally. Right. Yeah. So I want, yeah. I, want I, you to I do my own Facebook lives. We do. Everyone on the team does Facebook live from open houses. Yep. We do Facebook live from all our events. Yep. We're always on Facebook live. I just, and so are you talking about you would take the monthly yeah. thing and just. Yeah. So normally what we would do, and you're shooting on your own, but normally yeah. a client would get a webcam like this and we would mm -hmm. interview you. Mm -hmm. to create the two videos a month and then we send it to us and we edit it up and everything. But you're shooting on your own. So right, right. what you would do is you would just get with Courtney for an appointment once a month or every two weeks actually. You uh -huh. that, and we would just interview you live and ask questions and have and just talk to you. And our team dresses uh, professionally and we do it live on Facebook. Like a show. Get out. Oh, I'm yeah. so down for this. Okay. So down for this. This is great. And then I could set it up where I'm interviewing other people because I have other people that I want to interview. Yeah. Ah, so let me show you something. Yes, I'm down. So, so we have a plugin that we bought called BeLive, and it's about engaging with your audience on Facebook to create a live broadcast where, yeah, obviously you can go solo, but we can interview you, you can turn into a talk show, and we'll actually just go live with you on Facebook. I mean, we have the webcams. You know, we could just schedule a time. We ask you some questions, and we just have a conversation. And I can give her the questions. Exactly. Get out. Oh, All yeah. Right. Totally down. Right. So we use BeLive right now, but Facebook just bought like their competitor to integrate. And you're going to see a lot more webinar show live stuff happening on social media. That's where it's all heading. Totally so, soon, it's, soon it's all going to be, we hang out in virtual reality headsets together. That's where it's ultimately. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> Holograms. That's right. Good. But um, anyways, I just want to show that to you. And a part of our core service is I just added here and there's going to be an announcement very shortly is yeah, you know, we interview in a webcam, but if you want, we could take you on Facebook Live upon request. And what's cool about that is now we're having this conversation and it's a little more authentic and real. And we're just kind of this neutral, you know, person asking questions, like a neutral moderator. Uh, it's, that's the best, I mean, this is so great because, oh my God, and we could even give you guys a, a you know, a name. Well, here's what happens. Now it's like, well, can we throw this guy in here? And all it is is firing them a link and they join in. Right. And now it could be more of a talk show. So we can start taking you from, you know, yeah, you know, we interview you for a video, then get you very comfortable. Then you graduate to maybe shooting on your phone. Yeah. But now it's like, you know what? Let's make it a talk show. Totally. I'm so, I'm so in on this. This is great. I can't, right. I'm psyched. And that's, and, you know, that's included in your fee. And honestly, see, that's the thing. And that's honestly, a, it's easier. I, it's, it's, oh my God. And then you really could just download that. And then that's my monthly update. That's one Correct. of the month. Oh, get the out. Oh my God. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So good. So it's just, it's easy. All, All right. right. Well, I'm so down. This so is talk great. to Courtney, tell her that you want to go on Facebook live and just kind of get comfortable with that. And you do get a lot more reach because Facebook I, just serves yeah. to everybody when you go live. They love that. That's great. And, and you know, that's something else I think it's worth if people are not, you know, if this is going out to people that haven't, made the leap and i it's so funny i think people have such a hang up about video i don't think well, that, that i know that's, that. How you, that's how you get them over the fear is you get them comfortable in an interview format before they right. shoot a video like with a whole thing you know right i'm you, just saying you get the way, to, the way to really intimidate somebody is to just put this in front of their face and say shoot a video <laughs> you know the whole yeah thing. right 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 yeah right right no no it's it's i mean you know i was just looking i was like oh my god i got crazy old guy here today so it's uh, you just get really used to it and people don't care. Nobody cares. No, right. you know, in right. fact, the more authentic you look, the more people are going to stop the scroll and go watch you. It's a hundred percent that way. So something else I want to share with you. And this is, this is after talking about Facebook live, but um, I don't think it's good business to be reliant on just online media to stay in touch. Mm-hmm. 
it's not that more difficult for us to use direct mail as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you know this, do you know direct mail? Let me scroll down a part of our face. We interview you, we edit your videos, you know, we put it on YouTube, you know the whole drill, right? This is all here on our website, the blog. Mm -hmm. But I have a section here that's very important that I don't think a lot of people are leveraging is um, direct mail. Mm -hmm. is reach your database with direct mail and we'll actually create an eight and a half by 11 trifold newsletter or a video postcard. Let me give you an example of a video postcard really quick. Um, this will be a little bit large. Let me bring this down in size for the audience here. This is, this is going to be small, but you might actually get these. This is the back. This is what I send out mm -hmm. missing sales from your database. Here's the back of the postcard, a little six by nine postcard. And then here's the front. So we can actually take a screenshot of the talk show, a screenshot of your video and postcard your list and drive them back to go watch the video. Is that great? Yeah, that's awesome. So if you want to do that, I just want to share with you, um, when you export your sync and you export your database, make sure you also include street address, mm -hmm. city, state, zip. So that information is inside Emma, which is the email marketing service that we use in your emails. So when it comes time, if you want us to pull all the contacts and Emma have full mailing addresses, we'll, uh, we'll send it to a mail house with the artwork and mail something out too. And you just, right. you just pay the bill directly for the mail costs, which is right. about maybe 40 to 50 cents per postcard. If you go mm -hmm. first class, so it gets reforwarded and sent to you. Yeah, cool. So that's a cool part of the service that's included in the monthly fee. It's great. All right. It's so great. I want to I know that that's available to you if you want to leverage that. I appreciate that, Frank. I mean, you know, I mean, that's for me the whole, you know, that's, uh, that's what I mean. I mean, you guys really are like this marketing arm of the company, of, of my company. It's, it's, you know, there's all, that's, it's great. you know, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, there's always something new. Like if there's going to be something new, that's going to be valuable, either you bring it to me or I bring it to Courtney and Courtney is always a yes about it. I mean, there's just always like, it really is like an outsourced marketing arm. Always cool. Yep. So um, for somebody who's maybe uh on the fence or just what other tips do you have for someone to be successful with this? You know, the, the reason someone's watching this is they know they need to build a database. They know it gets the better touch mm -hmm. and they want more people to call them. They want more business. They want, you know, people to know who they are. Any other tips you can provide to someone to be successful as we wrap up the interview? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, the number one thing is you got to get on the phone. You got to talk to people. You got to shake hands. You got to put yourself out there and meet people. And that's the job. I mean, the job of real estate is not selling a house. The job of the real estate is finding someone who will trust you to sell their house. And you just got to, you know, lead gen, lead gen, lead gen. You got to lead gen. You got to lead gen. And part of lead gen is lead follow-up. Because if you're not going to lead follow-up, don't bother. I mean, what's the point of having a 3,000-person database if you're never going to talk to them? Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's just insane, right? So, you know, you had a lead gen every day and then part of your system is to keep touching those people till they're ready because it's, you know, people are going to buy a house every five to seven years. You need, a, you need an enormous database of people. So there's enough of them in their own five to seven year window that are thinking about you and you've got to stay top of mind. So when they're ready, they think about you because look, it, the, if I'm in a store and I'm shopping and I don't care if you're my best friend, if you're the you know, if you're not right there next to the shoe department, when I'm ready to buy shoes, I'm using the next shoe salesman that comes by. I am not waiting for you to come back. They're not going to wait for you. They ha you have to be there on the top of their mind when they're ready to buy, period. And you got to find and do everything you can do. So you got to put new people in, everything you do, put new people in, and then everything you do to take care of the people that are already there. That's the job. Writing the offers, that's clerical. What should I title this interview? Uh, How, Aaron? I don't know. What do you think? Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, you I, get, I, you I get would, 60% I shoot, of your business from your database. I would write it, shoot the damn video and get, you know, get to work. Okay, shoot the damn video. <laughs> Aaron says, shoot the damn video. I like it. Shoot the damn video. I know. It's, it's so funny because I'm the only one on my team that does video. Every, I mean, everyone does Facebook lives, but I keep telling, I mean, now I have like 15 agents on the team. I'm like, dude, I do not have to be the face of this company. You are oh. welcome to shoot video and we'll send these out. We don't have to send my face out twice a month. 
we'll send out your face. That would be great, but no one else does it. You know what? There's one more thing. There's one more thing I want to share with you that uh, I want to know that we're kind of working into the process is I'm, we're, I want to, a part of the build fee is we're going to create a web form, like mm-hmm. a kind of this, this simple web form that has first name, last name, email, mail address, whatever. But more importantly, has contact owner. So mm-hmm. you could tell your whole sales team, well, let me, let me build this up better. How many people would you say you and your entire office speak to a week about real estate? How many contacts a week? Well, I think you and right. everyone so there's, there's eight agents, I think now, I don't know. So if we each talk to, got to each talk to 40 people. Right, so it's three hundred, three four hundred people a week, easy minimum. Okay, so say twelve hundred people a month. Yeah. So your your office is speaking to twelve hundred people a month. Now, imagine if you could lead them and remind them to say to say at the end of those conversations, say, hey, by the way, we published this great real estate video blog of all this local information. We'd love to send it to you. What's your best email address? So you stay updated what's going on in the Seattle real estate market and uh, kind of connect with the community. Mm-hmm. I would say about a third of them will give you their email. And uh, what I want to do is uh, create a web form that uh, basically everyone can bookmark. And then they put the person's information and send it goes straight to your database. So you turn your people into human opt-in forms of collecting contact information out there, every single contact. Great. Cool. Do you that, see what I'm saying? That, yeah, that's great. Does it when you say it goes to my database, it goes into the right to Emma. It goes right, right to into, Emma. Yep. So I can create a web form that everyone can bookmark. They put the contact in there. They select their name, and you can actually see this week. Here's the people that added this many people to the database. You can actually track how many subscribers did your salespeople, did your people add to the list. Great, and that, you reward that, incentivize it, lead it, manage it, and right. track and track new subscribers as a part of your whole you know, dials, contacts, subscribers, appointments, contracts taken, you should add subscribers to one of the key performance metrics you measure in that funnel. Great. To build your wealth of how many people you've gotten permission to stay in touch with Sounds to add good. to the file program. Excellent. Yep. So we're going to include that as a part of a program, making sure that form with the new email marketing system we put together or we got, which is Emma, uh, as opposed to a vertical response we're using for years. Yeah. Great. Sounds cool, great. Aaron. Aaron, thank you so much for being a client. Yeah, Frank, thanks for the great job you guys do. Really, it's always been great. Even in the very beginning when there was a little, I remember just so you know, there was a little hitch and it actually was we're working with Courtney. We couldn't get it right for a while, uh, maybe two months, three months. And she was great. John was great. You were great about it. It all got yeah. resolved because look, nothing's perfect, but it's always how you respond to the customer yeah. upset that makes the difference. And you guys were great and it's been seamless for the last i don't know two and a half three years just seamless so we're trying I really to hear, man. I, got, I got 60 employees here we have to manage yeah. and run to get this yeah. great for all of you i'm sure it's really great yeah nothing but nothing but praise for courtney she's the best so cool aaron yeah. thank you so much for your time yeah you're welcome frank thank you